Hello YouTube, we're stripping paint. This is my gear. Mask, even ear muffs. I'm tired of hearing my drill. It's not as bad as some grinders. Eye protection. Here's what I'm using. The abrasive wheel. Now that was used before I started. Here's a new one. So I've, I've used this on my uh, grinder polisher thing in the shop all winter. Winter? I have trouble with that word. I don't know why. It's not winter, it's winter. These accents you pick up, and I live in the Midwest. That's a new one. So we, the old one so far, we went all the way around the front, and we went down the side. We're going to try to do the other side with that one. And see how beveled? Let me bring this up here. This is the best way i found to do this. Okay, I don't want to show it running, but the best way i found to do it is get it at an angle like this. Okay? Don't do this. You'll wear it down. Get it at an angle. But you'll find your own way. I've been shooting it like this because it shoots the dust up that way and the breeze has been taken it away. <clears throat> Excuse my congestion. It'll rain. You'll get a dew point of 60 something with 90 degrees. Today's only like about not even 80 out here. It is nice out. I am going to work under my shade tarp. Here you go. We'll bring you back when we're done stripping it. And we had pictures on it. If you see my package of Road King, I gave you a sneak peek of how I plugged that hole. And that's just clear epoxy behind there. And that's a penny. If you're wondering what that is behind there, there's a penny covering that hole from the other side. And it's indented. Okay. Bonda will go right over top of this. Okay. And it sticks up a little here. So we may take the flapper disc. Uh... A little bit and do a little bit of rough grinding and remember I said these hoods are all bowed in uh, they're mass-produced uh, the other one has all kinds of body damage on the side where this is all welded behind here so you can't get behind it and pound it out I'm not feeling gonna fill it full of Bondo so if you you've already probably seen the video where I repaired the body damage I'm sure you have so let's get back to work We'll bring you back. We're done. We think about putting epoxy in these holes. We won't know. We'll let you know the day we paint the hood. So that's how we'll do that. So stay tuned. This will be a real short video. We'll give you some pictures. And we'll be done with this episode. This trash can works good. Been my friend here. Plastic trash can upside down. And I'll put stuff on top of it. Use anything. I got a card over that I can use. I've got plywood. I've got my little stool, which I've used to hold stuff. So we're we're ready to go. We'll get this job done. Okay, another quick tip: take it off in layers. See where I took this layer off right here? It makes this layer easier to come off. This is probably five minutes, just right here. And believe me, there is dents all over this hood. There, I can put my hand, there's a big old, like I said, we can't spend all day long. Uh, it'd be like a week long body work. We're kind of in the sun, kind of in the shade. We're kind of in the shade. we got to have it out or where we can see. But see all that dust? See that? That's why you got to use the proper gear. You don't know what's in that paint. That's why we've got goggles, mask, even ear protection. I don't even want that stuff in my ears, but get tired of hearing the drill but this is gonna be done with some real small ones abrasive wheels you see me using my little polishing thing I gotta make a video on that my air hose leaks at the swivel there's a swivel I gotta remember that so I watch this video I gotta make an air hose repair of this cheap hose I bought you know where I bought it I always buy something from them I have to repair it but it turns out better what they have it there you go we're going to make this too long. We're watching our little clips here when we're talking through this. Okay, we're almost done. After the last clip, we had to switch to a new wheel. So we're trying to wear it in. We're trying to get that bevel to it. It's a little more aggressive than the other wheel. You stop once in a while and air out your drill. If you're going to dust yourself off, air out your drill. Uh, don't be afraid of any moisture that's coming out of your air compressor. There ain't much water comes out of mine. I'm using my little new one, that little new one gallon one from Harbor Freight. It comes on uh, more than it should because the hose is leaking, but uh, 
it's just been a handy little thing. It's not that loud. I got the door shut on the shed to keep the flies out when I'm out here working. There you go. We're almost done. We're going to flip it around. I just thought I'd give you some more quick tips. Yep, keep your drill aired out. That's that's the tip there of the day. Don't be worried about a little bit of moisture in here unless you've got water pouring out of the nozzle. And where is my thing? Another one. That's homemade. I took a rubber tip and drilled it, and that is either part of a an antenna or any kind of pipe I had. Brake line. Uh, if you got any spare ones, look look at them and study them. Here, we got plenty of time. My videos are never too long. Somebody's like, my God, he never shuts up. You can always put some epoxy down in there, too. Yeah. Drill out your rubber tip, put a pipe in it. Okay, back to work. Let's talk more work. And if it ain't fun, I don't want to do it. And this is not fun, though. My gut's hurt, and I'm sitting on my little styrofoam block. So it's not very comfortable. Okay, we are done. We'll get all that by hand or with little wheels. We don't want to hurt that rubber piece. I don't know if you're the air compressor, but it is pretty quiet. I think we're going to epoxy these. I think we're going to kind of chamfer, you know, make the holes funnel shape. Then put some epoxy in there and epoxy it behind and grind it. That epoxy is good stuff. And of course, there's my little plug. I showed some pictures I could find them again I showed some pictures in of the package from Road King and the front will be done with little stuff see up in here where that paint was gouged I'm gonna either feather that or remove all the paint because you have a high and a low spot okay we'll spin you around and give you one more look at that fantastic body work on it I went all directions on this it does not matter this is not that abrasive of a wheel but it is getting a, hey, you think my hands are dirty now? I went and washed my hands with some of that lava pump soap that Road King sent me. I mean, I have a uh, orange citrus hand cleaner, but oh, man, that's just taking my gloves off for a while and moving stuff around. How filthy you get. If you've seen the inside of this thing, it's like an old wood stove back behind where the exhaust hit it, the muffler was bad. It's nasty. I'll snap you a photo of the inside so you can see how nasty it looks. One more look at my fantastic bodywork. Not that I'm bragging, like I said, it's all dented in here where that's welded back here. That hinge thing is pretty big. You know those old guys use their middle finger to point with? <laughs> I did not say that. No, I'm not bragging. I just want to say anybody can do this. I'm, I'm, my brother owned a body shop. I just picked up on it so anybody can learn to do bodywork like this little by little. The thing is, when you say saying, try to get you a board or something flat. Get your stuff level. You know, some kind of sanding board. You know what I mean. There you go. We're out of here. We've had enough of this. Thanks for watching. Look for some pictures at the end.